grab a snack, grab a drink because I have eight. <laughs> That's right. I said eight beauty advent calendars to unbox for you guys. So if you guys want to see all these advent calendars that are behind me and were they actually worth it? Well, then definitely keep watching. Okay, I am so excited. I told you guys earlier this year that I really wanted to unbox more advent calendars here on my channel. And we have eight, eight advent calendars to unbox. I wanted to include more, but I tried to find the advent calendars that were still available and still affordable because there's some advent calendars that are like literally $700. Dior, I'm talking about you. <laughs> it is way too expensive for what you actually get. So I wanted to buy the advent calendars that were actually pretty affordable that you can find at your local Macy's, Target, Sephora, Ulta, um, Elf, like just try to find the most affordable advent calendar. So we're going to go ahead and dive straight on in. So up first, we do have Ulta's 12 Days of Beauty. I will make sure that I include the price point and what the value of this box says that it is. But we have Ulta's 12 Days of Beauty. So you're going to have 12 days of Ulta exclusive products in here. So this is how it looks. Oh my God. Okay. That is actually super freaking cute that it literally like pulls open. Ah! that is so freaking adorable i really like that so up first we have box number one what do we have in box number one so box number one is going to include a cream eyeshadow so here we have cream eyeshadow stick from ulta super pretty box number two we have a little ulta blush right here this is in the shade paradise Nice. Box number three, we have a little mini brow gel. Little mini brow gel. I wonder if it's like a clear brow gel. Okay, good. It's a clear brow gel so that anyone could use it and wasn't like like a blue or brown or something that people were like, ah, I don't think it's gonna work for me. Box number four. Box number four, we have a little mini lip gloss. Aww. That is super cute. I really like the sparkles in that right there. Super cute. Box number five. Box number five, we have a little mini gel eyeliner and it looks like it's gonna be, looks like it's gonna be a little black eyeliner from Ulta. That is really cool. I've never really tried Ulta's makeup brand before. So I'm actually really curious to see like how I'm gonna like these products. But here we have a little mini gel eyeliner. Box number six, we have a little mini matte lip cream very pretty, very, very wearable color. I actually really do like the fact that they are making like these sizes specifically for their advent calendar. Like that looks like it's a lot of fun. Now the reason I'm not swatching anything is because whatever I don't want to keep, I do want to pass forward. So that's why I'm not swatching things just in case. Box number seven. Box number seven is going to have a, ooh, a lipstick. Although this lipstick looks like it has seen a little bit better days but here we have a lipstick i will say the packaging on this it feels super super cheap yeah this feels super cheap very cheap quality this feels like box number eight box number eight is going to have a highlighter and this is going to be in the shade called crown so here's number eight a little mini highlight definitely looks like it's a more golden highlight box number nine box number nine we have a little little lip mask oh that's cute. I want to try this. It looks really nice. Box number 10. Box number 10 is going to have an eyeshadow. Box number 10 is going to have a little eyeshadow primer. We have box 11. <laughs> okay, this is actually really cute. It's a little mini makeup sponge. Okay, that is actually really freaking cute. I like this. And then lastly for box number 12. Let's see what number 12 is. Usually the last one tends to be the best. So let's see. Oh my god, it's a little mini. Oh my gosh. So box number 12, we have a forever charm. This is a mini, I mean like a baby eyeshadow palette. This is actually super freaking cute. <laughs> Oh my god that's adorable so that is everything that we got in the ulta's 12 days of beauty i actually thought this is a really cute advent calendar it's really not that expensive i think it's like 20 something bucks and i think if you get it during black friday you could even save even more money off of this i think it's super cute i love the way that it comes in this little package you get all these little mini sizes super cute definitely a lot of fun i think the best was number 12 with that little mini eyeshadow palette in here super excited to give that a go i will say this is super adorable and i'm actually really happy with this one up next we have 
NYX Professional. This is going to be a pool to open surprise makeup box. So uh, it's not really an advent calendar. They do have an advent calendar. It's like a lip advent calendar, but I didn't want to get a box of just all lips, especially because I just wanted to try something a little different. This has a variety of different makeups in here. So I'm super freaking excited about this one. So like, what do I do? Do I just pull it? Everything just fell out. Okay, wait, that was actually a lot of fun. That was super freaking cute. It's like a little pinata. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now that everything is off the floor, we can actually go over what we got. So this says it's gonna have 14 full size items in here. So the first thing we have is this butter gloss, and this is um no idea what this is. Uh and it smells like bubblegum a little bit. So it's a swirly gloss. I don't know what the shade is, but it's a little swirly gloss from NYX. Super freaking cute. Then we have another butter gloss. Oh, this is a matte lip cream in the shade. This is a matte lip cream. So these are all full size items. This looks like it's gonna be like a deep fuchsia shade. Oh yeah, a little deep fuchsia shade in here. Okay, okay. Next we have, this is Milky Gloss. This is in the shade Cherry Milkshake. I absolutely love This is Milky Gloss. I had the Chocolate Milkshake one and they sent over a cherry one, which would be perfect for the, like the, the fall, which would be perfect for the Christmas season because I could top this on any sort of red lip that I'm rocking and this is going to be super freaking nice. I definitely want to swatch this one because I for sure will. Oh yeah, that is really nice. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. Next, this also includes the Butter Gloss. This is in the shade called Apple Crisp. I'm so curious. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful red shade. Ooh, oh yeah. Do you guys see that right there? Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Okay, and then next, this box also included the Butter Gloss, but in a clear shade right here. Next, we do have Sweet Cheeks. This is gonna be a soft cheek tint from NYX. I don't think I've ever tried a cheek tint before. I'm curious to see what the shade is. Okay, definitely more like peachy coral shade right there. Nice, okay. Next, which I'm so freaking happy about, we have a fat lip oil right here. I actually have this shade <laughs> sitting right here. If I'm correct, this is the exact same shade. Um, follow back. Follow back, yep, there are two of the same right here. They look a little different though. Like this is how mine looks. This one that was in the box looks a little bit more oilier, like oilier. I don't know, I guess I'd have to get a good mix up, but here is a lip oil that was put in here. Next we have another Smooth Whip Matte Cream Lip lip Gloss, lip, <laughs> Matte Lip Cream right here. Then we have another Butter Gloss that's gonna be found in here as well. Then we have Born to Glow. This is a liquid illuminizer. So I'm assuming that's like a highlight situation. Followed by another matte lip cream right here. I wonder what this shade is. Ooh, this is a pretty shade. Oh yeah, this is pretty. So this is in the shade um, called Teddy Tough right here. That is really pretty. Smells nice too. Nice. There's also a little uh, flamingo sponge. So it's a little flamingo sponge, super freaking cute. They also included a nail file. And then lastly, they included a, an eyeshadow palette. So this is a petite palette. Um, this is just called Warm Neutrals, which I think is really great for the holiday season, especially that they put like a neutral palette in here that so many people can get a use out of. So we got 14 full-size items. It says that the retail value of this is $70. It says that this retails for $70, but your total value is $95 and 50 cents. And overall, I mean, realistically, I would never spend like $70 on just lip products for the most part, but I will say you got 14 full size items, which I think is actually really incredible. So I'm actually really happy with this. I thought this was so much fun. I love that it came in like a little pinata. That was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so up next, we do have Target's 12 Days of Beauty. This does retail for $20, and this says that this is valued at over $50. So let's see if it really is. All right, going into to box number one. I can't even get it out. Okay, so box number one is gonna have things, for, have something from ESO. This is gonna be a Sunrise Sips. This is a 24 hour moisture lip balm. Ooh, I have never tried this one before. I don't even think that, I didn't know they had lip balms. I'm used to those little like egg things, but not something like this. 
That's exciting. Oh my God, this is so hard to open. So box number two, we have a little Winky Lux. This is a unibrow precision pencil. I absolutely love this brow pencil. So the fact that a little mini gets me so excited. Um, <laughs> um, box number three is empty. <laughs> there's, there's nothing here for box number three. What? Okay. So going on to box number four, then box number four, we actually have a sponge from Sonia Kushik thing. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I actually have seen this brand numerous times because they're really big inside Target. So we do have a beauty sponge. This thing is huge. Oh my gosh. Let's go to number five. Oh, we have a little mini bliss. This is a cream to water hydrator for drench and quench. I have never, I've never tried this before, but I have seen this all over um, Target and I've seen people talk about this brand in particular. So I'm actually really excited to give this a go. Box number six. Okay, number six is a deep puff and brighten eye gel. I've never heard of this brand before, so that is gonna be in box number six. Let's go into number seven. Number seven, oh, this is a little Batiste. Batiste, this is a dry shampoo with the uh, the scent tropical ex, tropical coconut. That smells really good. Would you guys call me great? Would you guys believe that I've never actually tried this brand before? Wow, that smells really good. All right, moving on to number eight. Number eight, we have something just fell down. Oh my gosh, wait, we have two things. Okay, so number eight, we have two things. We have Undeniably Beauty. Beauty. This is a healthy hair, skin, and nails, biotin, keratin, chewy gummies and then we also have liquid iv in the in the um, flavored tart green apple if you guys have never had tried tried liquid iv i would know what this is but this is a great hangover cure like literally this is a great hangover cure just you know put this in your drink and you help to rehydrate yourself it's not meant to be like a hydrate like a hangover but like people do that and pedialyte by the way just so you guys know but yeah this is a in number eight i think was this number three does it say it on here maybe maybe this was number three i don't know <laughs> All right, moving on to number nine. Okay, so number nine, we do the we have to do have the NYX matte finish spray right here. This is super cute. Okay, and it's also a little sticky. Oh, it's probably because the glue being stuck in there, but that's actually really cute. All right, number ten. Number ten, we have a little three minute miracle moist deep conditioner. I used to love Aussie way back in the day. This still smells. So damn good. This used to be my go-to shampoo for the longest time. God, do I miss the way that this smells? That and Herbal Essence. Damn, that smells so freaking good. Okay, so then number 11. Number 11. Oh my God, this is adorable. We have a little mini elf. This is a little mini elf power grip base. Can we talk about how cute this is? And this is literally the most adorable thing. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is way too cute. All right, so last but not least, we have box number 12. 12, what do we have? We have a little Tanology, Your Glow, Your Shade, Your Way. This is a medium self tan drops. What? Oh my gosh, these are little drops. This looks so clear. Ew, that does not smell good. Okay, okay, so overall, I like I said, I spent $20 on this box and I have to say, I'm actually really happy with it. You get a little mix of everything you guys can find over at Target from a little lip balm, e.l.f., sponge, Winky Lux, vitamins, hydrators. You have a little bit of skincare, setting spray, deep conditioners, little dry shampoo moments, little tanology stuff. Like this is super cute, that just flew out. I will say for 20 bucks, this is definitely well worth it. These are the most adorable things. I'm actually really excited about this one. You guys can still find this and they also have a wellness one at Target, which I will link down below for you guys. Up next, we do have this wet and wild one. I think this was like $17 and this is a 12 day advent calendar called the wild list. I am so excited. I had no idea that wet and wild had one. Like I said, I wanted to get one from elf, but there's this $99 and to me, it's just not worth it for what you're spending, just especially cause like I guarantee those items do not equal $99. 
$9. And then um, Huda Beauty had one. They're sold out. Charlotte Tilbury still has one. That's like $2.50. Too expensive for what it is. I know P. Louise has one. Sephora also sold out. But I just love a good brand advent counter. I know Makeup Revolution has one. My sister got me one every year. But I am just, I always end up getting, giving rid of, I always end up giving away all those items. So I want to get stuff that I knew I was going to use, but being affordable at the same time. So I'm really excited about this advent calendar. Start with box number one. Okay, so box number one, we do have a mascara. <laughs> I can't get this out. <gasps> okay, got, got it out. So box number one, we do have the Mega Volume Mascara from Maybell, from Wet n Wild. I have never tried this mascara before. I didn't even see it, and it's definitely full size. So that is going to be exciting to try out. All right, moving on to box number two. Aww. Box number two, we have a little mini color icon palette. And this is definitely a full size. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is super freaking cute. Definitely a pretty color for the holidays. All right, moving on to box number three. There's just so much easier to open. So box number three is gonna have a little way that they, <laughs> oh my God, they like literally jammed this in here. Jesus. Okay, so box number three is gonna have this little wet and wild packer brush right here. Super cute. Box number four. Box number four is gonna have, ooh, an item that I can't get out. Okay, so box number four is gonna have a clear, Mega stip, mega, mega stick lip gloss. Dang, these are all full sizes that are in here. Holy crap. All right, moving on to box number five. Box number five looks like we have a mega brush. And this is going to be just a nice little big face brush. Nice. All right, moving on to box number six. Ooh, box number six, we do have an eyelash curler. I feel like you can never have enough of these. So that is box number six. Super nice. Moving on to box seven. Box number seven is going to have a clear brow and lash mascara. Okay. Wait, what? Brow and lash mascara. What is this supposed to just like lift the brows? I right, set the brows and lift the lift the lashes. Interesting. These are all full size items in here. Wow. Moving on to box number eight. So box number eight looks like we have a blush. Okay, so box number eight, we do have a blush in the shade called Bed of Roses right here. So this is in box number eight. Again, full size, holy crap. Moving on to box number nine. Okay, box number nine, we have a five-in-one essence primer liquid base, <laughs> but it does not wanna come out. Okay, so here is a box number nine. This is a five-in-one essence primer liquid. Interesting, I have never heard of this before. Right, what do we have that was nine? Okay, now moving on to box number 10. Number 10, we have a wet and wild break breakup proof, waterproof, retractable gel eyeliner. Oh, looks like we're gonna have a brown gel eyeliner from wet and wild, super cute. Moving on to number 11. So number 11, we have another full size item and this is going to be Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder with vegan collagen tea tree and vitamin E in the shade translucent. Translucent, interesting, cool. All right, last one, we have number 12. Oh my gosh, this just tore because I got so excited, but that is fine. Number 12, we have the mega highlighting powder in the shade called Blossom Glow right here. This is absolutely epic. We have full size products for every single thing. Like I said, this was like $17, $18 that I got off of Ulta's website for full size products from Wet n Wild. This is 100% worth it. This is 100% worth it. I am, I'm impressed. Oh my gosh, I am impressed. This was so fun and oh my gosh, so well worth it. Okay guys, so up next we do have Ultra's collaboration with Target. This was exclusive to Target and Ulta. They created the best of 15 days of beauty with Target and Ulta's favorites. All found in here that you guys can find at your local, that you guys can find at Ulta inside your local Target. I'm way too excited. This sold out so quickly. It retailed for $45. I was so happy to find the last one. I was like, ah! So let's go ahead and unbox this. So we're gonna start with box number one. I'm so excited for this one. Oh my gosh, it's a little itty bitty. So this is a little itty bitty, better, a better mascara. So a mascara is so amazing, it's better than sex. Oh my gosh, this is a little itty bitty. It's adorable. Definitely hate this mascara though. I do not like it, but I do like how tiny this is. Okay, that's actually really cute. Going in for box number two. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny, but what? Box number two is a little mini Ariana Grande perfume. I have never 
played with this before. What? Oh wow, that is really nice smelling. Oh my gosh. It's a little Ariana Grande perfume. Oh, this is so cute. Smells really good. She has a perfume too. She's a perfume I have encounter if you guys want to check that out. That is actually really cool. Going into box number three. Box number three has a little bit of origins. This is checks and balances. This is a milky oak, mil milky oil cleanser and makeup, um, makeup melter. Oh, I have never tried this before. I absolutely love origins. I used to shop this brand all the time. And now they have a little mini origins in here. This is really exciting. Oh my gosh, this is actually really cool. Going into box number four. Ooh. What's in box number four? Box number four. Box number four is gonna have um, Agua Fresca. This is a leave-in conditioning milk. Ooh. Oh, that smells really good. I have never heard of this brand before. Wow, that actually smells really good. Oh, I'm excited. Going into box number five. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, box number five is uh, Ulta's Beauty Jelly Lip Gloss Gel. This thing is massive. Like this thing is freaking massive. Oh my gosh, that is really funny. And it's actually a really pretty color. It's in the shade called Poolside. Very, very pretty color. Going into box number six. Okay, so box number six is a body cleanser from from way. I have never tried this brand before. I'm really excited to give this a go. Um, oh wow, that smells really good. Oh my God, that smells really good. Oh my God, that smells, that smells so good. This is really exciting. This is the most exciting box so far. I'm so excited. Okay, box number seven. I know they could tell you this, this stuff on the back, but I refuse to look at the back because I genuinely want to be surprised. So box number seven has a Tula skincare. This is a 24 hour moisturizer, hydrating day and night cream. I have tried this brand before, but I have not tried this moisturizer. So this is exciting. Box number eight. Do you think it's another perfume sample? I feel like it's another perfume sample. Okay, so this is Clinique Happy Perfume. I have never tried this perfume before, but so many of my friends love this. Oh, wow. That smells really good, actually. Oh my God, that smells so good. This just made me very happy. <laughs> this smells so good. Holy shit. God, that smells good. Okay, I'm gonna have to go buy a full size of that. Uh, Mom, if you're watching, Clinique Happy Perfume. Alrighty, moving on to box number nine. Wow, okay, so box number nine is gonna have the Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Dry Spun Texture Spray. Creates instant volume and hold airy texture all day. That smells really good. I'm kind of getting a little overwhelmed because there's a lot of scents going on. Oh wow, Ariana Grande's though. That smells good, but Clinique Be Happy really makes me happy. Oh my gosh, that smells really good. Actually, kind of reminds me of that perfume a little bit that you can find in Norway over at Epcot. Okay, box number 10. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. Oh my God, this is Tarte High Performance. This is the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. I actually used to own this mascara. I really enjoyed it. And they made a little mini size. And this is just freaking adorable. This is so freaking cute. I love this one. That is adorable. Box number 11. So box number 11 is going to have the First A Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. Now I actually think I have several bottles of these that I got in like an Ipsy and Box Charm. So I'm definitely gonna pass this along, but that's actually really exciting. Very cute. I think this is, I don't know if this is the full size. I don't think it is. I think this is the size that they make for like all the subscription boxes, but still super exciting. Box number 12. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this is funny. Okay, so box number 12. This is super cute, but I hate this product. Smashbox threw in the original photo finish smooth and blur primer. Okay, first off, I hate this primer. It's horrible if you have oily skin, it's <laughs> super horrible. But secondly, it is so freaking cute. It's a little itty bitty. It is absolutely adorable. <laughs> I think this is so cute, but I hate the product, but I'm definitely gonna pass it along because it is, it's just too cute. Going on to box number 13. Wow, I have not played with this brand in so long, but this is Mario Badushu, Baduscu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. I used to be obsessed with this brand when I worked at Ulta, and I think the reason why is because Ulta kind of put it upon me to be obsessed with this brand, consistently sell this brand. And even when I used to do facials over there, they would always tell me to use these products. So I have not really played with this brand in so freaking long, but I know it is big at Ulta, but they did throw in the facial spray right here. I have not seen this in forever. 
Wow. Wow. I wonder if it still smells the same that I remember. Yep. Yep. And it smells just like roses. <laughs> wow. That is actually really cool though. Box number 14. Alrighty. So box number 14, we have the Morphe continu mini continuous setting spray. I used to be so obsessed with this setting spray. I know some people out there still really love it and they did throw this in here. Super cute. All right. Last but not least, we do have a box number 15. I'm so curious what box number 15 is. Shut up, please be perversion. <gasps> okay, so it's Urban Decay 20 Forever 24 7 Glide On Pencil in Zero. Oh no, it's in the shade Zero. I thought it was going to be in the shade Perversion. Perversion is my absolute favorite. Um, it is like the best, the best liquid liner, best gel liner from Urban Decay. It is truly the best black liner. It's the only one I ever use, Perversion, and they have the shades called Zero. I'll try this out. I just prefer Perversion, but I'm definitely going to try this out. And they threw that little, they threw that in here as well. So that is super freaking cool. Wow. Okay, guys. So like I said, I spent $45 on this box and I found it over at Target. So definitely check your local Target inside. Definitely touch. I found this inside Ulta at my local Target. So make sure you guys check there. I know online, I think it might not be available still, but definitely check. You never know. But go check out your local Ulta's at Target. This was probably the best advent calendar box I have ever opened. Everything was brands that I've known and heard about or wanted to try. I love the little perfume samples in here, the skincare products in here, the, the hair products in here, some makeup products in here. Definitely well worth it, in my opinion. I love this box the most. Out of everything I've boxed so far, this one is truly the best. I'm so excited. <laughs> Up next, we do have 12 Days of Scent for Her. This is the advent calendar that includes 12 travel size fragrances and one bonus gift. I did I did pick this up at Macy's. I think it's like $30. And it's almost like the sample size that you can get over at Sephora, but then you guys can redeem it for a full size. And I'm so excited because I think there's some stuff in here that I've never smelled or tried before. So I'm really curious on the scents. So let's go ahead and unbox this. All right, so let's start the unboxing. So we're gonna start with box number one. Okay, so box number one is a Burberry for her spray. Okay, so let's try this out. Let's spray a little paper. I don't know what it is, y'all, but I've been truly getting into some perfumes lately. Wow, that smells really good. Wow, I'm gonna, I need some coffee beans or something. Box number two. Okay, okay, smelling the coffee. Okay, this is Libre from um, St. Laurent's right here. Ooh, from YSL, I've not tried this before. I don't even know if I smelled this before. First off, first off, um, hello, do we? They cheated me. Oh my gosh, this is pretty much empty. The other one was full, this is empty, what the heck? And then it sprayed out Ugh. like this, like pea color. Do you guys see this? It sprayed out like a pea color. Ugh. Why is it that color? Oh, I don't like how that smells. You don't smell good and you're practically empty. Okay. Thanks. Box number three. Okay, this is from, this is called My Way from Giorgio Armani. Definitely fuller. You all see that? I, I was being cheated. They were cheating me out of perfume on that one. It smells like flowers. This one's okay. This one's okay. Not my favorite. Box number four. Ooh, it's from a brand named Chloe. And Miss Chloe Girl, Chloe Girl is like full. Okay. Ooh, that's very light. Ooh, that one's nice. I like this one. This one's very light. This is nice. Going into box number five. I have smelled this one before. Black Opium. I don't remember if I like this one or not. I don't think I do. I don't think I like this one because this was in my Sephora one too. Yeah. I don't know if I like this one. All right, let me try to smell it. Oh no, this one smells good. Then what was I thinking of? Very, very heavily scented though. All right, going into box number six. They do have one of these, by the way, for men. If you want one for a guy, they do have for her and for him, by the way, just so you guys know. Prada Paradox right here. I think I tried a, pair of, a Prada perfume in my Sephora one, and I did not like that one. So I'm curious if this is the same one. It might be, actually. Yeah, you know, that just isn't for me. That one just isn't for me. All righty, moving on to box number seven. Ooh! 
Ooh, box number seven has Flower Bomb, but this is in Ruby Orchard. I have not smelled this one. I have the original Flower Bomb one. That is my absolute favorite. I went and got the full size of that from Sephora. And I am just obsessed with um, Flower Beauty, Flower, I'm obsessed, I'm, obsessed with, um, I'm obsessed with Victor and Roth Flower Bomb. They smell so good. Let's see how this Ruby one smells. Wow, that smells really good. That one smells so good. If you guys ever get a chance to find the smell of the Victor and, Victor, Victor and Roth flower bombs, they smell so freaking good. Box number eight. Ooh, box number eight is irresistible from Givenchy. <laughs> Givenchy. Alrighty. Let's. A little musty. It's a little musty. I don't know if I like that one. Yeah, you know. This one may not be for me. This one may not be for me. Going into box number nine. Oh, uh, shit. The Vargi, the Vargi. Alexa, how do you say B V L G A R I? Okay, but which language do you want me to translate to? English. Mm. Alexa. Pronounce B V L G A R I. Mm. Alexa, pronounce B V L G A R I. Pronunciations. I would pronounce it as Bulgari. Bulgari. Way, I have a feeling that I misheard you. I have some suggestions on what you might have been trying to pronounce. Do you want to hear them? Sure. Yes. Yes. If you meant B V L G A R I, it is pronounced as Bulgari. No, I, God, she is not listening. Bulgari. Okay, so we have Bulgari <laughs> rose perfume. Okay, alrighty, this is Blossom Delight, and let's see how this smells. It's not bad. I don't know if I would ever wear this, but it's not bad. Normally what I like to do, honestly, when it comes to perfumes, I like to spray it on my clothes and then wear it all day and then truly smell how it smells like the next day. Like I will grab it off the floor or the hamper or whatever I have it and smell it and see how well it smells because that really determines the scent and whether or not I'm really going to like it. Moving on to number 10 is this. I have never heard of this brand Muggler Angel Elixir. I have never heard of this brand before. God, these are so <laughs> strong. Are you supposed to get lightheaded from smelling perfume? Is that like a thing? I feel like I'm getting lightheaded. It's not bad, but I wouldn't buy that. Moving on to number 11. Woohoo, this is fancy. Jimmy Choo, I want Choo. Oh, right. oh, that Prada perfume, I still smell it. I am not a fan of that Prada perfume. All right, damn, I want Choo from Jimmy Choo. That smells really good. Holy crap, that is divine. Wow, that smells incredible. Last but not least, we have box number 12. This is a bonus kiss. What is this? Know that you are a flame in the dark, Laurie Rose scented candle. I got a candle. <laughs> it's Rose. I hate anything rose scented. Oh my God, that is so stinky. It's <laughs> oh no thank you okay so the last one we have is from carolina Hera. this is the good girl perfume oh my god wow that geez oh wow okay that smells really good that smells incredible okay okay guys so that is everything that i got in the 12 days of perfume since from macy's like i said this retails for 30 dollars, and you get three you get 12 um you get 12 perfume samples in here honestly it's not bad for what you're spending because you can actually make these little small sizes last you for quite some time especially if you have so many to choose from i feel like this is a little bit more doable and more affordable than the one they have over at sephora because the one they have at sephora is like 85 or like 87 dollars, but you do get to claim it for a full-size perfume i think the full size is like uh like one 
ounce one milliliter I have it over there from flower beauty from flower bomb but I do think this is really cool especially if you want to try different perfumes you're not really sure what you want to go for I think this is really doable 30 bucks for these I think it's definitely well worth it so this is a good advent calendar alrighty guys we have two more left next I have 12 days of beauty advent calendar from Macy's like I said I did spend $24 on this I got it during a black Friday sale but it does retail for $49.50 so let's see what we got alrighty so this was created for Macy's so let's go ahead and open this up so we're going to start with box number one <laughs> okay so obviously the item fell down somewhere because box number one is empty and it also looks oddly suspicious this looks like a very familiar shape <laughs> so um yeah the item from box number one just is somewhere in this box we just don't know where so we're gonna go into box number two Oh, okay. So he, I think this is the item from box number one. Okay. Cause it just was sitting in box number two. So box number one has the Smashbox. This is the photo finish primerizer, hydrating primer. I cannot escape this damn freaking primer. I am not a fan, but I do know that this box is curated with all the brands they sell inside Macy's. So this is supposed to be like all name brands in here that you're going to see that is sold at Macy's Beauty Department. So that's why it's gonna be like more of a higher end box. But here we have the Photo Finish Primer box number one. It's all right. Box number two. This is actually quite funny because we just unboxed this, but box number two has the <laughs> First Aid Beauty <laughs> Ultra Repair Hydrating Cream. Yo, they must pass these out like candy because this is found everywhere. So I'm definitely gonna be passing this along. All right, going into box number three. Ooh, box number three. I don't know what this is. It's from a brand I've never heard of. Have you guys heard of this brand before? No idea what this is, but this is a Radiant Revitalize and Firm Mask. Oh, interesting. Ooh. <gasps> that smells so good. And it's a gold mask. Ooh. Am I about to be part of the Rich People Skin Club? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's look this bad boy up. Okay, so this retails for $52 when it's like a big size, right? Yeah. Okay. This retails for like $52 for a small little size. Oh, <laughs> and it smells so good. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Moving on to box number four. Ooh, box number four is liquid glass. This is from dry bar. This is a miracle smoothing sealant. I actually had the full size of this because I really do actually love this particular product right here. I love anything from dry bar and this is a beautiful sealant for your hair. It makes it nice and shiny. I spray it on when it's wet. This is super exciting and definitely well worth it. Moving on to box number five, box number five, we have the, uh, Lancome Idol Lash Mascara. I actually love this mascara. It has a nice little curvature to it. Super good. I think this is so funny because like the wand kind of takes up the whole thing. Very nice mascara and I, very nice mascara. So that's actually really exciting to see that in here. Box number six. Ooh, box number six, we have something from Nude Stick. This is an all over face blush color. Interesting. I, I don't think I've ever tried anything from Nude Stick before, but this is the shade right here. Does it blend out nicely? It does. Wow. I've never tried anything from this brand. That's exciting. All right. Box number seven. All right. So this is Frey Free Recover Me Restorative Night Cream. I have no idea what this is, but I'm not surprised to see there's a night cream. Let's look this up. All right. So this is uh, $49 for whatever this is. It's a Recover Me Night Cream. It's $49 at Macy's. Definitely not a bad price for this little thing. No way this is the same size. No way. No. Okay. Yeah. No, this is not. This is, so this is a restorative night cream. Um, it contains a powerful combination of freeze exclusive patent, Argania active complex, copper peptides, and isinamide to deeply repair your skin from sun environmental damage while you sleep. Oh, and it also helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. We're definitely gonna have to try this out. Never heard of this brand before. That's exciting. Moving on to box number eight. Ooh, box number eight. We have a little mini itty bitty Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel. I never tried their clear brow gel before. Can you believe that? This thing is so tiny. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love this. I love when things are so tiny like this. I don't know why it gets me so excited. This is adorable. I'm definitely gonna have to try that out for sure. This kind of reminds me of like 
getting out those like you know sample sizes that you buy like i told you i love trying brands at um like travel size or gift sets because it's a great way to try the brand the brand without breaking the bank to do so so if you don't like it you need to spend a lot of money getting it and you have just a small little product to try i love those so moving on to box number nine <laughs> box number nine we have something from shishadu this is the ultimate power infusing concentrate Listen, if you guys have been around my channel for a while, you guys know that I used to be obsessed with Shishadu's Clear Mega Hydrating Gel Cream. It was my rich people gel. It was my rich people skin moisturizer. They did discontinue it, unfortunately, and I'm very sad because I'm officially out of it. And it's from the brand Shishadu. I constantly look to see if they ever are going to bring it back. They have not. Um, but it smelled so good, and now I have a little concentrate right here, and this is adorable. What is a concentrate? God, uh, this smell. Oh my gosh. Why does like high-end skincare brand smell so good and luxurious? I'm about to smell like a rich perfect like a rich person skin again. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't even know what a concentrate is, but I'm gonna try it. Coming on to box number 10. Ooh, okay. This is from Elizabeth Arden. This is the retinol ceramide line erasing eye cream right here. Oh, interesting. Never tried anything from Elizabeth Arden's brand before, but this is a retinol eye cream. I'm assuming this is pretty expensive. If I had to guess, let's find out. All right, so not bad, $70. $70 for an eye cream, that's okay. That's actually kind of expensive, but I'm excited to give this a go. Moving on to box number 11. All right, so box number 11 has this brand called Stervec. I only know that this brand because I see this brand all the time during the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. They always have stuff on sale. But this is their Advanced Retinol Nightly Renewal Moisturizer. So I'm assuming this is anywhere between 50 to 60 bucks, I'm assuming. Um, I have never tried this brand before, but you know what's so funny is I was just thinking to myself, they're putting high-end skincare brands in here for the most part. And I'm over here going... Are y'all going to get me addicted to your high-end stuff? So I'm going to have to spend money on these because I'm going to fall in love with it and be like, God, I want it. Let's see how much this costs. Okay, let's see. This retails for, oh, you know what? This retails for um, $79 at Ulta. $79. What did I say? <laughs> Oh my God, these this box is going to make me try these brands and I'm going to fall in love with it and then I'm going to be like, I can't keep up with the price. Oh. <laughs> okay, so moving on to box number 12. We have... Oh, wow. Okay, this is a Tarte Maracuja Lip Cream. Why is it in this? What? This is the full size too. Ooh, this is in the shade called Mauve Very pretty. Maybe I'm used to the... Maybe I'm used to the lip glosses and this is a gel. This is a lip cream very beautiful very 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 nice oh i'm excited to play with that one and then we have a bonus gift right here i wonder what the bonus gift is can you imagine it's like a gift card that'd be so fun okay well sort of it's not really what it is it's ten dollars off your next forty dollars plus beauty purchase it's ten dollars off your next purchase of forty dollars more for beauty purchase with macy's that's actually really cute i just laugh i don't know why i just look like a freaking like um gift card right here and it's ten dollars off your next purchase of 40 which is actually really nice so overall like i said i spent 25 dollars on this box because it was on sale for black friday but you but normally it did cost 49 dollars and 50 cents i think this is so freaking worth it you got high-end brands in here mostly skincare is mostly skincare over makeup which is definitely not bad but these are all like really you know high-end skincare brands so I really, really love this box. This was well worth it. Okay, so last but not least, I did purchase the Luxury Beauty Advent Calendar from Macy's. This does retail for $60. I don't know how many days are in here, but this is the last box I did purchase. First off, we talk about how beautiful it looks. It's actually nice and heavy, so I'm really curious to see what we have in here. Okay, so here is the last box. So it has a little bow tie, and let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's coming in shelves. That is really nice. Okay, so we're gonna go into box number one. What is box number one? So this is how it looks, super cute. This is um, MCM. Oh, it's a perfume. Oh no, it's a perfume. Oh, my nose, I don't know if my nose can take anymore. Let's see how this looks though. Ah, this is so cute. It's like a little purse. Oh my goodness. 
Wait, how do you? No, oh, okay. Oh my God. I can't get it open. I can't get it open. Okay, wait. Oh my God. Is it twist? What the heck? Is it glued on? I can't open it. I physically can't open this. Well, it's a cute little book bag. It's a little perfume. Um, I physically cannot get this open. I'm so embarrassed. This is like a little weakling moment. Come on. My finger is turning red because I'm pulling off this so... Oh my God. This should not be that difficult. I mean, like seriously, my finger is turning red. I can't get it. Okay. Um, well, shit. Can you please open this? I have spent the last five minutes trying to pop that top off. Okay, I loose it. Don't, wait, don't, no, no, don't, no, no. How'd you get it open? Pull out. I, that's what I've been doing. Oh. It just got all over me. Okay, so I had a little help from my husband, but this is how the perfume. This smells so incredibly good. Wow, this is probably one of the best, best perfumes I have ever smelled. Oh my God, that smells so freaking good. Okay, well, I had to have help opening this because this, wait, how do you put it back on? Does it twist on? Wait, how do you put it back? Oh God, okay. Okay, I need to look up this up because I'm genuinely curious to see how expensive this perfume is because it smells so good. Oh, you know what? It's actually not bad. It looks like it retails for... Um, anywhere between 70 to 110, depending on what perfume you get. That's actually really not bad. This smells adorable. This smells really good. Wow. Okay, this is exciting. Oh, let's talk because one of the ones you just put on right here and can't spray, but we'll make it work. Moving on to box number two, we have something from Lancome. So this is going to be the Absolute Concentrate Soft Cream. I think I actually just got a full size of this from a little PR that they sent me, but this is a little mini... Lancome cream. Okay, so this is how it looks. Super cute. Oh my god, that smells so cute. good. Okay, wow. All right, if this is not what I've tried before, then I'm definitely gonna be excited to give this a go. Um, this is a soft cream. <laughs> I don't really know what else it does. It doesn't have too much too much explanation, but that is really exciting. Alrighty, so box number three, we have something from SKI. This is going to be a facial treatment mask. Ooh, feels very interesting. I know this brand is really expensive. I used to have like this one like facial mask I got from BoxyCharm that everybody loved me putting on. Obviously, I'm not gonna put that on today, but we do a facial mask in here. Super exciting. Box number four. Ooh, box number four. We have Peter Thomas Roth. This is a potency power serum. Interesting. I don't think I've ever really tried this before. I've got my mom this brand, but never really tried it myself. So that's actually really exciting. I'm excited to try it. We have box number five. What do we have for box number five? So we have a little, ooh, we have a little Georgie, uh, Giorgio, Giorgio Armani. This is going to be an eye tint chrome. Ooh, I have never tried this brand, like anything besides the little perfume stuff I have. I've never tried this brand. <gasps> that is actually really, really, really pretty. Let's see what this looks like. Pretty. That's actually really pretty. Nice, and this would be like the perfect size because I probably really, really wouldn't use it that often. But it's actually really pretty. Box number six. Oh, we got an LYS. This is a blur primer. I have only tried their Candy Glaze lip oils. I have not tried anything else from this brand. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. This has sparkle all in it. Blurring, blurring and illuminating primer. Oh man. But that has like glitter reflex all up in that. But it's also like really exciting because I've never tried anything from this brand. It's an expensive brand. Oh my gosh. Damn, that smells good too. Okay. This is exciting, although I don't like glitter reflex in in there. But that's also like really exciting. <laughs> that's awesome. Moving on to box number seven. I have never heard of this brand before, but it's called Virtue. This is a men protect and shine 
um, the only hair oil with Virtue's exclusive powerful hand, um, hair transforming alpha keratin. You know, I am actually not a big fan of hair oils. I think because I am so oily, my hair gets super oily as well. So I probably wouldn't get much of a use out of this. But I do just want to smell this. I bet you it would smell really good. Mm, smells like coconuts smells like coconuts so that's actually really exciting if you like hair oils you guys are probably gonna see this into like a giveaway box because i know honestly i really won't get much of a use out of it but that's exciting we have box number eight. Ooh, okay this is from estee lauder this is going to be the ultimate diamond transformation energy eye cream <laughs> what what diamond eye cream what the heck is that what the heck is that do you guys see this what is this oh my god wow that smells really good i bet you this shit's expensive oh my gosh eye cream is 295 dollars what the fuck oh my god i if i try this or when I try this, and if I fall in love, I'm going to be so damn pissed at myself. Why is it so expensive? What the heck? $295. This is just a deluxe travel size, but the real full size, that is uh, 0.5 ounces. How many ounces is this? 0.17 ounces. I, 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 I don't even have words. I don't even have words. This is so beyond my budget. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. That is the probably most expensive thing I think I've ever unboxed. Okay. Wow. All right. Wow. Okay. Number nine. Jesus. <laughs> okay. So number nine, we have something. Um, I don't know what this is. DDPU? DDPU? Oh, it's all in French. I can't read that. Oh, this is all in French, I think. I can't read that. Okay, this is a softening cleansing foam. That's all I know. Let's look this up because I've never heard of this brand. DD Pew Pew. <laughs> I'm, probably, I'm probably saying this wrong, honestly. Butte. Butte. Uh-huh. Softening cleansing foam. No, this isn't the same brand. This isn't. Is this the same brand? Oh my god, yeah. $75. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. $75. For DD Pew... Butte skin cream. All right, moving on to number 10. We have something from, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, all right, we have something from LIS Libre Perfume. I know we just smelled this in the last one, but you know what, I'm not gonna lie. I really don't remember how it smelled. Um, oh wait, no, I didn't. Did I smell this one? I did. <gasps> look how big this is. Oh my gosh, look how big this is. Oh no, this one does smell good. Wow, look how big this size is. Wow, that is really exciting. Oh my gosh, these boxes are stocking me up on perfume. I am so excited. Moving on to number 11. We have a little mini, oh, oh, oh my God. We have a little mini Tom Ford. This is a lip color. Oh my God, in the shade Casablanca. I don't own anything Tom Ford, baby. It's a baby. Shut up. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, we're gonna swatch this. Wow, that is such a pretty color. Even if I fall in love with this, there's no way you could ever convince me to buy this full size because <laughs> ain't no way, but wow. That is pretty. Oh my gosh, this is super cute. All right, moving on to the last one. We have number 12. What do we have in number 12? So we have, ooh, we have a few things in number 12. Ooh. All right, so we have, looks like another $10 off your next beauty purchase or more. So that's really exciting. So now I have $20 off my next beauty purchase. Thank you guys. And then I also have two products in here. We have um, Carolina um, Hera, we have a mascara and the Carolina Hera Good Girl Blusher. Ooh. All right, let's look at this mascara. She a little itty bitty, little itty bitty. Might not be for me. We're gonna give it a go, but it might not be for me. And then we have a little blusher in the shade 1070 Rose Jasmine. <laughs> what the heck? Wow, this is itty bitty. Okay, wait, come on, come on. All right, 
there it is right there the little blusher moment that is everything that we got in the luxury beauty box from macy's like i said this does retail for 60 dollars and oh my god this is so freaking worth it because that one eye cream alone you have got to be out of your mind that is incredible so those are all eight advent calendar beauty unboxings i think i think my favorite out of all the advent calendars that i unbox i truly think my favorite is probably the Ulta's collaboration with Target. There's just something about this just that just got me so freaking excited. Don't get me wrong. I think the two Macy ones that I unboxed are just chef's kiss so well worth it. But I think because I knew and recognized almost every single brand in here, and this is a little bit more in my price range, so if I fall in love with the products, I can go buy the full size. I just really kind of gravitate to this one the most. But I really did love the Macy's 12 Days of Beauty and the Macy's um deluxe the luxury one right here because these are allowing me to try some high-end brands that i normally would never try because they are just way too expensive but ultimately i had a lot of fun unboxing these i love the nyx pool pool one wet and wild was fantastic the ulta one was super cute and then i think my the ultimate was super cute the target 12 days of beauty oh my god fantastic and then we did have the perfume stuff so overall i had so much fun unboxing all of these advent calendars i think advent calendars are definitely the way to go but definitely be mindful when buying them because sometimes they charge so much for what you actually get in there i like to find stuff more like this where even though it's like little tiny sample sizes you're only spending 60 dollars, but you get such a high value versus other ones that you get like maybe one or two full sizes and then the rest are deluxe sample sizes but they charge like 250 definitely not worth it in my opinion but i think advent calendars make such great gifts for people they're so much fun to unbox and I really hope you guys enjoyed this very long video. You guys are probably going to see me showing shorts of every single one of these on my channel throughout the week. But um, yeah, these are fun. Let me know down below what was your favorite advent calendar that I unboxed. And I'll make sure I link everything that I unboxed down below for you guys. But that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channels, R for Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful Patreon members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you, and I'll see you guys in my very next video.